G'day guys, just continuing on with our P5 panel enclosure build. Uh, we was looking to seal the back of our panels up, obviously the, the back's still exposed. Um, and we was going to fit some vents to it, but we were sort of curious and go, do we really need to? Um, you, know, you see these enclosures, two and two signs, etc. and smaller matrices get built with no ventilation. Some people run vents, etc. So I thought, hey, I'll do a couple of quick tests myself. Um, why not throw the camera on it? So the setup that we've got, it's not scientific. It's just no comparison. Uh, so we've just got our panels set up here. What we're going to do is just run it through an RGB white cycle on our, our uh, brightness settings that we've got set up. Uh, we've got a couple of power supplies, which is more than adequate enough to run these panels so not one power supply, power, supply, power supply is going to be overloaded or anything like that um, our current ambient temperature just off our little probe here uh, is 24 degrees celsius so what the next step we will do is we'll run it for 30 minutes just will it fully open um, with an rgb white cycle on the front of the panels and see if that goes up and then after that we will look at sealing the back of it fully up um, We'll fit some Coro um, and seal the back of the panel up and run it for 30 minutes. Now there will be a little bit of a you know, air gap to get in the bottom, but because some people say, oh, I leave holes in the bottom of mine to vent it and stuff like that. That's fine. Um, and then after we've we'll run it for 30 minutes with it sealed up and then we'll um, see what the results say. And then we'll fit a couple of, um, these are 90 mil vent, um, vents, so they're quite large. Uh, we'll fit a couple of them like some people say oh I just put a vent up near the you know the power supply inlet so we'll try and get them close to that um, you know, two vents run for 30 minutes and then lastly we will probably set it up how we're going to run it personally which we've done with other matrices uh, we'll run some fans with our with our vents and we're just going to look at sucking the hot air out um, and putting some um, inlets into the bottom um and see how it goes so time will tell so it's about you know it's hovering in that 24 degrees 23.9 ambient uh, we will run it 30 minutes with it open and see how it goes so we've been running our rgb uh, white cycle on our p5 panels it's been running just on 30 minutes fully open back you can hear the fans of so they're just cut out they've been cutting in and out on our power supplies um, which is quite normal for these mean wells as they warm up that's still sitting on where we're taking the temperature like at the top middle of our enclosure it's 24.5.6.7 you know, it's sort of ranged up two degrees celsius so that's not much more than what our ambient earlier temperature was so what we'll do now Obviously, you know, they can get probably the required airflow around them just from you know, the ambient air. We will fully seal the back up uh, with our piece of Coro. And you know, across the back there, and we'll just clamp it in place for the time being. Look, there'll be a couple of air gaps around it, but it's just um, to see what it's going to do. And we'll run it again on the same cycle. We'll just keep it running and run it for 30 minutes and see what our temp does. So just continuing on with our P5 um, enclosure temperature uh, test, we had the we sealed the back of it up. Um, when I say seal, it's a pretty loose term. Uh, the bottom of it still is, you know, open. There's you can get air in there. Uh, so we've been running this for 30 minutes. I'm not sure if you can see or not. It's about 35 degrees um, Celsius. Uh, we just checked through on FPP because that's how we're just running our RGB white cycle. Um, on the status screen, when we first started our test, our, according to FPP, our Raspberry Pi temperature was 42 degrees, and if you recall, our ambient temperature was 24. Uh, we just checked it a second ago. It was up to 50 to 52 degrees Celsius, um, which is sort of in line with what our probe is also saying. Their enclosure is you know, gone up 10 degrees from... That. It's actually going up 11 to 35 degrees Celsius. So that's interesting little um, um, test so far. We'll fit a couple of um, vents in the back of it now. Uh, a couple of these vents. 
just in the back. Honestly, I don't think they're going to make much difference. I think they need the fans to, you know, draw that hot air out. But hey, we don't know until we try. So for this test here, we've just fitted a couple of vents. There's no fans, very similar to what we had before. Look, there is airflow. The bottom of it is loose. You know, there's a bit of gap under it for those that say, you know, there's absolutely no airflow in it. There's a bit of heat soak already in the panel. So it's, you know, it was already on 20, uh, 26 and a half degree mark. It's jumped up already to 28, just as we've turned the RGB white test on again. So a bit of heat soak inside there already. But we'll run it again for 30 minutes and see what we come up with. Remember, with no vents, it was 35 degrees inside there. Um, again, there's no fans on the vents. We'll fit them for our last test and see how we go in 30 minutes time. Okay, guys, we've been running the RGB cycle on our, our P5 panels uh, for 30 minutes again. Remember, we started at... Uh, 27 degrees now this has just got a vent fitted in each corner there's no fans it is open at the bottom like i said so so we're at the moment we've been about 37.8 degrees is what we're reading on our little thermometer so it's been about that 10 degree um swing again so it's almost the same as like it was when it was fully sealed um, consequently i had a look at the fpp the raspberry pi running temperatures um at the start it was 44 degrees celsius and i just checked it, it was 54 so it's again it's gone up a very similar to it like it was when the back was fully sealed up uh, with no vents in it so our next step is actually fit our fans a couple of fans and we'll wire these in to a five volt power supply and we'll actually get some airflow happening via the fans and we'll see how it goes so this is going to be our final test on the temperatures within our p5 panel enclosure so this time we have fitted uh five volt fans uh, drawing air out of each one of those vents um we haven't put any vents in the bottom yet we will when we build it but like the other tests it has got you know, an air gap at the bottom to keep it consistent um, our starting temperature was about 25.5, 26 degrees, that's 25.8 there. Um, very similar to what the other tests were, so we're running our RGB white's new test cycle again through our panels and we'll give it 30 minutes and see what the temperature is like and then we can compare it to our other tests. So we're back after running our RGB white uh, test pattern across on our P5 panels. Uh, we've been running just over 30 minutes, and if you can sort of see, our temperatures remain basically the same as our ambient temperature. It's 25.8, it sort of jumped up to 26 there for a little bit. That's only a cheap thermometer. Uh, so, with the fans and the vents, it's running pretty well at ambient temperature. Uh, it's the same as our I'll just quickly check the temperature on the Pi through the FPP Falcon player screen. That started at about 43 degrees and it's still running at 43 degrees. So make into it what you want. Um, look, the bottom of this is open of the panels. Um, we are actually going to put a couple of decent vents in the bottom of it. This was just a bit of a quick test with thought to see do you need to put vents in the back of your panel enclosures? totally up to you just also bear in mind these are outdoor p5 panels and we have the front of the panels exposed and i have noticed that you know that they, they get warm to touch uh, so if you had it fully enclosed uh, like some people do put them in a full enclosure i believe the temperatures would also increase because not only if you've got the heat from the power supplies you've also got the heat of the panels themselves so that's just something to consider all right, guys, thanks for watching along. Um, don't know if I've proved anything or not, but hey, thanks for watching.